Good day, folks. Billy Presida here. Welcome to another episode of Billy Ball. I should probably call the show Simple Ideas from a Simple Guy, but that's too boring a uh, headline, so uh, we'll stick with Billy Ball for the time being. Today we want to talk about the labor shortage. A recent article was published based on findings by the Association of General Contractors. The headline was, 80% of contractors struggle to fill needed positionings positions, lengthening construction timelines. There's a quote in here from the president of the Association of General Contractors that says the workforce shortage remains the single most significant threat to the construction industry. Mr. Stephen Sandher, the uh, president and CEO of the Associated General Contractors says, construction labor shortages are a challenge that can be fixed and this association will continue to do everything in its power to make sure that's possible. So today I'm going to talk about some simple stuff on how to make that possible. You've heard me talk about the gangs and you've heard me talk about the inner cities and today I'm going to try to tie together in a nice bow a labor shortage, how it can be fixed and where we should be investing and why. And I call upon my own association. I am a proud member and a member of the board of the New Jersey Builders Association and National Builders Association. So the same goes for all of us and particularly the labor unions. I put a post up when I saw this article challenging, how is it the gangs are better organizers and recruiters than the labor unions in our inner cities? So let's just get right to it. Right now, nobody's talking about it on the debate stages and the president ain't talking about it and and Ben Carson, the only time I ever heard from him was when he got stuck in an elevator or something. We have got to get into our inner city schools and start recruiting these kids that are susceptible to joining gangs. So understand, the more kids that you get interested in going into the construction trades, or for that matter, by the way, I'll call out all the unions. Kids are going into gangs as little as third and fourth grades, and that's because they're older brothers, they're uncles. They look up to them. The number one reason kids join a gang is not to deal drugs or do bad stuff. The number one reason kids join a gang is to be part of a family. Second reason, frankly, is also to have street cred, so that when they're walking down the street, they don't get the crap beat out of them. So what we need to do as an industry and all you union members and the Associated General Contractors and the National Builders and all the big public companies that are builders is we need to get into the schools and we need to get into them early. We need to get in there at second and third grade before they get roped into gangs. We need to show them that there is a path to great paying jobs. I mean, plumbers and electricians are making six figure salaries. And by the way, police unions, fire unions, teacher unions, get in the schools. We got to start recruiting these kids. Now, obviously, the more kids you recruit that don't go into a bad way, don't go down the gang path, the better off we'll all be. Now, I'll break out Grandpa. Okay, Grandpa Mario here. Grandpa Mario came over on a boat in 1920, probably an illegal immigrant. The unions got him. He started laying brick. A decade later, he owned his own company that was a bricklaying company. I mean, that's how it works. You got to get out there. I mean, by the way, remember, when this picture was taken, every window in New York said, Italians and Irish need not apply. That's how they all ended up in the construction unions. So, thanks, Grandpa. So, I strongly encourage you all. You want to fix the country and you want to make some money, get into the inner cities. Start renovating. You can't lose in the inner cities. It can't get any cheaper. But if you go there, don't expect to just go there and build. You got to change the community. You got to show them hope. And by the way, to all you gang leaders, many of whom you know I've met with, okay, I remind you, there is more money in real estate than there is in dealing drugs. And guys, you got it all. You're the ones that make the neighborhood unsafe. You're the ones keeping property values down. 
All you got to do is say, no more crime on this block. Now, by the way, buy up the block first. Then you put out no more crime on this block. You take the most dangerous block, you make it the safest block, all of a sudden real estate values go from here to here. You'll have to deal drugs for 20 years to make as much money as you could change buying one block and changing it to a safe, clean community. That's what I got for you folks. We gotta get in there. Nobody's talking about it. It's so important. If you were with me in the streets of Patterson or Camden and you see these little kids who are acting as runners, lookouts for drug dealing gangs, I mean, come on, man. It's such an easy move. We can do it, but it's going to take the whole industry to do it. And by the way, if you want some advice on how to do it, if you're a labor union, if you're the CEO of the General Contract Association, call me. I'll give it to you. I'll work with you. Please. It's important. So... That's my 10 cents on that subject. Get in the inner cities. That's where you can make money. Uh, for more on this subject, I will be speaking at the New York Real Estate Expo this Thursday at the New York Hilton. I think I'm speaking at 915. Please come by. Uh, if you want a copy of Procedaisms, which is a series of articles I wrote about how not to go bankrupt in the real estate business and how to take advantage of opportunities, go to our website, Proceda.com. And you can also get a copy of uh, this is a booklet of some of my favorite articles. There's been a couple of thousand about me, but I picked out some of the ones I find most fitting, which actually address a lot of my time in the South Bronx and Harlem in the 80s and 90s. And uh, I look forward to seeing you on Thursday at the New York Real Estate Expo and or at the next uh, Billy Ball. Have a great day.